Amateur Logic Shorts. I've got a little follow-up for you from last time when I did a short on recovering batteries, getting nearly free batteries out of old uh, rechargeable batteries for devices like power drills and things like that. Well, during that one, I mentioned not using the ones that have uh, nicks in the insulation. It's very important. I'm going to show you why. So these are two that I recovered from a laptop battery quite some time. Now I put some electrical tape around this one, but I haven't really used it. And while that might work, it's not really a clean solution. This one's got clearly got a nick on it. So let's go ahead and strip the insulation off of this one and take a look at it. I urge you to be very careful with these because uh, lithium batteries can be dangerous and if you arc them, they can explode, cause a fire. So Now, I just stripped that off. It's very easy. And you can see there's a lot of metal on this casing. We're going to keep that. So let's take a look at it. I'm going to use my little trusty voltmeter here. And we can see that from the positive to the negative, we've got some voltage here, 4.03 volts. But we also see that the negative part of this battery goes all the way up the case. That makes it all the way up to the edge. That makes it super easy to short out. If you've got a nick in the cover that goes in your device and you bump it against anything that's metal, uh, you can cause a problem, it can be dangerous, and it can cause a fire or explosion, possibly. So what we're going to do is replace that casing. Now let's get this out of the way. I bought these off of uh, Amazon, and I got 300 of them for like $7 and some change, including shipping. So I'm just going to take one of these since these are the first ones here. They're really easy to put on. They're not easy to open up though, so let's open it and let's go ahead and slip the battery down inside of it like so. Now if you've got this little ring, go ahead and put it on there because it's a little added measure of protection. You can also get those off of Amazon as well. This is just a simple heat shrink tubing. Most of you have probably used heat shrink before. Uh, this thing really shrinks up a lot. Normally I would use a heat gun for this, but I'm going to show you it doesn't really take any special uh, material or equipment to do this. My wife's not home, so I borrowed her hair dryer, <laughs> uh, a nice pink one. And let's go ahead and heat it up. And you can see that this shrinks on really easily. little holding the top on there is not very easy though so. there now that one's got a good case on it and it's safe to use you might want to write the capacity on there after you've tested them or something like that for future reference because you don't have any idea what the battery was. Well, that's pretty easy. It's uh, very simple, very cheap. You get 300 of them, like I said, for about $7. And it doesn't take any special equipment and it's a nice safety measure. I hope you found this useful. Consider subscribing to the channel. Uh, click the bell to be notified when we have new uploads. And we'll see you next time. 73.